Good morning and happy Sunday. It is Sunday, September 12th. Good grief. We are just racing through this month too. We are on our way to church this morning. Riley's looking very sharp and Nora's in the back seat. She's got the cutest little, <laughs> hi, the cutest little navy blue dress. I'll have to show it to you later. We're pretty much on time. We could be running a couple minutes earlier, but I feel like we're doing pretty well. For a nine month pregnant lady with a toddler, I feel like we're doing pretty well. So we're gonna go enjoy service and I'll talk to you guys after. We just wrapped up with church. Our service was wonderful today and we decided to stop by Starbucks on the way home and we both got a pumpkin cream cold brew, but Riley got a venti and I got a tall. I haven't had a coffee today, so. You're ready. I was ready. <laughs> I love these things. They're so, so yummy. Hello, I am somewhere new and different. Just kidding. I'm up at Riley's studio. I have 26 boxes of garments to sort for the winter line. Um, we opened, you can see, we opened them all to go through and check them against their packing list, make sure that we had everything, and we do. Um, this is about probably 70% of the orders. I have a second batch of boxes that will be arriving here at the studio in the next few days that I'll have to sort those as well. But this will be sort of like batch one. It's about 1245 in the afternoon right now and I'm planning on working until about 445. So if I can make it for four hours, that's what I'm gonna do. I brought some snacks, I brought lots of water for myself. Um, and yesterday was my rest day. Yesterday I didn't do anything work related at all. It was a wonderful day. Um, and today I'm kind of jumping back into it. So I'm up here by myself. Riley's at home with Nora, they're hanging out. Um, and so I'm gonna see how much I can get done this afternoon. Good morning. It's early on Monday morning and Nora just finished picking at her breakfast. She usually eats in two rounds and I just made my breakfast and I made French toast. It's one of the only ways that I can tolerate eating eggs. My body, after I had Nora, just started getting sick after I ate, ate eggs, but I can eat it, them in French toast and a glass of orange juice and then I made an Earl Grey tea latte, which at Starbucks they call a London fog. And look how cute this mug is. I wish I was actually planning for Disney right now. It's from my friend Bridget's shop on Etsy. I'll link it below. She has the cutest stuff. But I'm going to sit down and enjoy. Good morning, guys. It is about, well, actually, it's just flipped over to being noon, so good afternoon here on Monday. Um, <clears throat> I'm still in my pajamas, which is one of the new loungewear sets that I bought that I was showing in last week's video, but I won't show you the whole set because it's not a maternity set and my whole belly is just like hanging out. <laughs> um, last night was super productive, but really exhausting. So I was up there for about four hours. I got a lot done, which I'm super grateful for because I needed to. And then I came home and ate some dinner and took an Epsom salt bath to help because my muscles and feet and stuff were sore. It really helped. And then I really got in bed early. We put Nora to bed and I got in bed about the same time. And then Riley ended up going back up to work. It's just like our super busy season right now. So he ended up going back up to work and he didn't get home until like after midnight. I think like 1230. Um so, yeah, she hears me talking about him. Um, so that was his evening. So we both just were wiped out. And then this morning, he went into work as normal. And I've been hanging out here with Nora. We've had a low key, a nice low key morning hanging out together. I did get a little work done, but mostly I've just been spending time with her. Um, and then this afternoon, I am going to go up and work some and work on finishing sorting all of those boxes. I made a really good den yesterday. So um, hopefully I can wrap that up. I'm out of breath, <laughs> just talking, just talking. Um, so welcome to our Monday. <laughs> she's got, she's such a toddler. She's got rain boots on with her sundress and she's inside Charlie's crate. Happy Monday. All right, I am up here in a sea, literally a sea of garments. <laughs> I've been working for 
four hours and I've hit my max. So I'm gonna head home. I'll come back up tomorrow and make some more progress. Little by little, we get it done. Good morning and happy Tuesday. I just got up to my office and I am just turning the air down so it's a little cooler in here and turning lights on. Oh my goodness, Riley dropped off a whole bunch of boxes last night that he just finished sewing um and it is just one of those what is it i keep thinking it's wednesday it's only tuesday i know that this vlog so far i have hardly shared anything truth be told it's because i feel like labor is near <laughs> like i haven't really voiced that verbally and saying it makes me a little bit freaked out because I just feel like labor is near. By the time this video actually goes up, it's very likely that I am, if not already postpartum, crazy, um, very close to labor because this, I think, video is going up in two weeks. I just am like, not only am I having like really consistent Braxton Hicks, my I'm starting to have more actual, lower, different feeling types of contractions, especially towards the end of the day which is common, especially when your body is tired and when maybe you haven't had enough water in the day, which I'm trying really hard, but right now I'm sure there's some days when I'm not getting enough water. Um, but I almost said, girl, let me tell you, <laughs> like yesterday I went up in sorted shirts for a while. I felt fine while I was doing it. I was getting tired. And then I came home and like was having just like back to back to back. So I'm like, I just feel like my body is really, really gearing up here. Um, so there's like not a lot to show because I'm either like trying to work and finish things up and wrap things up and get our house in order and get my life in order and get my work in order before this baby comes or I'm resting because I'm having contractions. <laughs> so we will see. Um, it's crazy to think that when this goes up, the baby could already be here. Um, but I don't remember exactly what day this video is going up. Let me, let me look here on my calendar so I can. Okay, so this video, this video is going up right about on my due date, actually, um, within a couple of days of my due date. So it's very likely. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. That's so exciting. So I've been, I'm in a really good headspace. I'm super excited to give birth again. I feel really prepared mentally and physically and emotionally. I've been listening to lots of birth stories and just getting myself in that headspace once again. But that's why this vlog hasn't been full of like recipes and little projects around the house and little different things because I've been pretty much like working or contracting. <laughs> And that's what it is. So today I have um, a couple of meetings here in a minute. I'm actually getting my hair done tonight, which I'm really excited about. I get my hair done literally twice a year, like every six months. The last time I got it done was in March. So I'm getting it done tonight. Um, I'm gonna get it cut and get some fresh balayage put in um, before this baby comes, which will be great because I'm sure I won't have a chance to go back for quite a while. And um, that's what my day looks like here we go I just got home from work and Riley and Nona are hanging out and it's mail time here so this was the only other thing from my altar my altar order that I showed you last week outside that I hadn't shown that hadn't come in it just came in today I love this stuff and then Riley got this is a really nice looking shirt babe I like it a lot it's navy blue and white and it's a tall, so I can tuck it in. Yeah, that's the problem. He has these 6'4", so a lot of times he gets um, dress shirts, but they're too short, so if he tucks them in and then moves his arms at all or, like, picks up Nora, it comes out. So these are super, like, when you hold it up, it's from Duluth. Oh, I like that fabric a lot. It's not shiny. Like yeah, that other one was kind of shiny. This one looks really nice. And look how long and nice and tall it is. Oh, but it's an uh, it's supposed to be untucked, so I wonder it might not be as long as the other one. Oh, cool. Let's see. If you hold it up. Oh yeah, but it's still nice. It's still a good, definitely longer than your others. And then we also got a daily harvest box, which are the uh, um, these are smoothie cups. So inside each one, you just add some almond milk or apple juice or regular milk or liquid of your choice. 
And they're super good. Riley's favorite are the cold brew ones. This is the, that's the best one of all time. Oh yeah. Because it tastes like what? Carrot cake? Carrot cake. Ooh, it's so good. That's your favorite alongside the cold brew and almond. Mm -hmm. I really like the, um, of course I like the sweet ones. I like the strawberry pineapple, or strawberry peach. This is the one I think I like the best. So we're gonna put these in our freezer. These are such good, easy, quick breakfasts. You can add a scoop of collagen or protein powder, right? I have a coupon code, a referral code. It gives you like 15 or $30 or something off your first box of Daily Harvest. So I'll leave it below in case you're interested. But I'm not being sponsored. This is just, we get one of these boxes about once a month. After we opened our mail, Riley went back up to work. I'm telling you, we are like ships passing in the night these past couple of weeks. It's just been absolutely both of our busy seasons. And so we're just like doing the best we can. But I, um, it's almost four o'clock and I never really ate lunch because I was up at work all day and I just ate a snack for lunch. And I came home and saw this on the shelf of our pantry and I like have to have it. <laughs> so <laughs> tell me you're nine months pregnant. Um, I'm making Kraft macaroni and cheese for myself for like an, a late lunch, early dinner. I have my hair appointment in the next couple of hours. So Riley's going to go work for a couple hours and he's going to come back. I'm telling you, it is like... It won't be like this for very long, but for the past couple weeks and for the next probably week, we're just tag teaming life and we're making it work. But this is, this is yum. Look at it. Oh, it just looks amazing. It's all like half of it, like anything on them that was metal and like gold plated, you know, you can just tell something that will not be so hard. But it's really great. Hello, it is 9.30 p.m. now and I actually just got back from the salon, I get my hair done by my friend who has her own salon named Jenny. Many of you know her name. We have been friends for many years. She is so good, so good. I wonder, where do you think the best lighting in this house is? Probably literally in the laundry room in terms of it being like accurate. The bathroom. Cause this doesn't have a yellow tint. Yeah, but the bathroom still has a yellow tint. Um, I just got balayage, which is what I got for the first time I got it in March. I think I was vlogging then too. So just adding some blonde throughout, um, just to give it a little bit of dimension. And I did get a couple of inches off as well. Um, I'm really, really happy with it. I just wanted something lighter, um, in color and lighter in like mass of hair with this baby coming. I, I only get my hair done twice a year anyway. Like literally I go every six months. And so I knew that with Colin coming here very shortly, if I didn't get it done now, it was not going to happen probably until next spring. So she squeezed me in. So I was there from like 6.30 to 9.30. It takes a while for the color to process. I'm really happy with it as always. She always does a fantastic job. So got my hair done. Riley's doing the dishes. <laughs> He's been home with Nora for the evening so I could have a little mommy makeover moment. Um, I'm going to grab something to eat for dinner, um, even though it's late because I ate before I went, but I'm hungry again and then I'm going to get in bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So here's what I'm having for my little 10 p.m. meal, <laughs> a little snack plate. So I've got some fresh cut up English cucumber and some veggie dip and some carrots and some sliced cheddar and mustard and pretzels. This is like sounding so delicious to me right now. I can't wait to dig into it. Good morning. I am in labor. Just kidding. <laughs> I wish. Uh, well, actually, I don't wish. I'd like another like week to finish up my work, but um, I'm not in labor. I'm not in labor. I'm just kidding. It is about 9 a.m. I switched my watch band out to a baby blue one because I'm having a baby boy soon. Um, our nanny is here today and she's outside in the backyard with Nora and they're running around having a great time. So that's wonderful and fantastic. It's more than I can do right now. <laughs> um, I'm going up to Riley's studio to sort garments. I have quite a few left to sort, but he has been up there sewing them. And then we had our embroidery guy sew a whole bunch of them too. So um, they're getting done, which is fantastic so that I can get them mailed, you know, packaged and mailed out real soon here. Um, that's my only thing on the agenda today is Etsy. Um, and so I packed a lunch with me. I brought some water, some tea and like my AirPods. And so I'm just going to go up there and put my AirPods in and get some work done. 
And that's what I'm going to do. Look at this little puppy. Hi, Charlie Bear. He's going to be eight soon. Eight. I can't believe it. Uh, this vlog is just not my best work that I've ever done. <laughs> I keep thinking, oh, I should film this, I should film this, and then I just don't film anything. This is good lighting. This is adding to it. Um, and then the days just go. Because, y'all, I am, by the evening, when I normally film making dinner and maybe doing a little project or organizing something or, like, anything... I am having these contractions. Sometimes they are really just like Braxton Hicks, which is like a tightening of your uterus. But like tonight, they were more than that. So I, uh, I did make dinner. I just did the two ingredient dough um, and made a little pizza, which I've shared dozens of times on this channel. Um, and so we had some of that and then towards the end like right about when i put it in the oven i laid down on the couch i didn't end up eating any of it because i just there's just a lot of pressure there's a lot going on <laughs> i'm like oh my gosh um definitely feeling closer to labor every single day funny enough i kept a log on my phone when i was around this stage of my pregnancy with Nora and I entitled it like it's just in my notes app and I called it baby watch symptoms and I wrote down the date and I wrote down how I was feeling that day and it's really interesting to read through because it starts off like how I'm feeling right now um, where like lots of Braxton Hicks some more intense cramps at night like that kind of thing um, and then you can see like other symptoms come into play um, as I got closer and closer to my due date and I did I stopped writing anything on the log the day before she was born which is the day that I went in. I went into labor like the night before type of thing and so I've been like referencing that and I'm like, where am I on this? Listen, I realize that every labor is different and it could be completely different, but I'm just out of curiosity. And I'm definitely like right now at like the 10 to 14 day mark away from, um, in terms of if the, if they go identical, which they won't, my symptoms now line up with when I was like 10 to 14 days away from having Nora, but 10 to 14 days is not that long. So um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just have a feeling. Um, I don't think I'm going to go super, super late with this baby. Um, I'm really grateful that, um, I have had work to keep my mind distracted and we are like really close to having all of the garments sewn and embroidered, which is a massive undertaking because it was like well over a thousand garments. And so once those are all done and they're up at my office, I can start packaging. And then once that's done, I'm like officially on maternity leave. So it's actually been like a really good distraction for me because otherwise it's like, you sort of just sit around and like wonder when the baby's gonna come. But I'm sorry that this vlog has not been full of all kinds of interesting things because I'm telling you, like when I'm not working hands on momming with Nora or, you know, doing something else like actually, you know, that I wouldn't normally like, I don't film a whole lot of Nora and I don't, you know, film me doing all the dishes, you know, whatever. When I'm not doing stuff like that, I'm sitting down because I feel like my body is just in labor prep mode. So, um, I am going to wash my face and brush my teeth. I'm like a disaster because I've been working all day. Um, tomorrow I do have my 38 week appointment um, at my birth center. So I'm going down for that. And um, so that'll be like my whole afternoon. And I'll have a little bit of time in the morning to get something done if I um, am up for it. But I might just take a lazy morning and rest. Um, because I'm kind of, or sort of at a place where I am waiting on garments to be finished so that I can start the next step. Um, so like I've done my part and then 
that needs to be done and then I will go back to doing my part. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I wish there was a million more things for me to show you, but there's, there's just not, there's, hey, there is one thing I can show you that I thought this morning I was like, oh, that would be maybe, I don't know, at least something. Oh, you scared the heck out of me. <laughs> So like that you're whispering like an ASMR video. Like, hey, people have told me I should start doing ASMR. What do you think about that? Do it. What do you want me to talk about? Just do ASMR. I don't know how to do, just talk in a low voice. I don't quite know what it is. I think it's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. I'm walking into a hallway right now. Um, okay, I'm in Colin's room. And here is all of my birth boxes completely packed and all, not all, all of the labor snacks that are not refrigerated are completely packed. I also am going to bring fresh grapes, fresh apple slices, like a bunch, like things like that um, to my birth as well. But I can't, I don't want to put that out here for obvious reasons. Okay, so I was thinking the other day, I was like, I should probably bring some toiletries in case we end up spending more time at the birth center than we were anticipating, or if for some reason we have to transfer to a hospital and we have a hospital stay, I'd like to have some toiletries with me, but I really don't feel like going through the whole song and dance of like getting that all ready. So I saw these in Walmart, these little kits. So this one is a 10-piece men's travel kit, and it comes with everything here. I'm sorry for the glare. So it comes with everything here. It's like $6. And then I also got a women's 10 piece travel kit. It has like a mini deodorant, toothbrush and toothpaste, shampoo and conditioner, floss, and lotion. It's kind of weird they don't have like body wash or like soap. Was the men's one? Yeah, they have like a three in one shampoo conditioner. Sorry, I'm like, I don't even know what you're looking at. <laughs> they have a three in one. But I just thought that was like such an easy way to just have those toiletries on hand. And then if we don't use them for the birth, we'll have them for the next time that we travel, which will be in the new year. Um, and then I also have this big old um, cup that I used during Nora's birth as well and, and heavily during postpartum and whatnot. So anyway, I just wanted to show those because I thought they were kind of cool and um, like an easy way to just make sure that I had like the necessities, which to me would be like deodorant and a toothbrush with me for me and for Riley in the event of there's a lot of reasons why I, I would maybe want that. So I also packed this up. Um, this is going to go. Let me show you over here flip the camera around. This is going to go on my bedside table probably for the first few weeks and then it probably will travel around the house but it's like a diaper caddy. I was showing it in my last weekly vlog. I got it off of Amazon. So it's stocked with diapers, wipes. This is um, a changing pad you know, that you can lay out. And these are some burp cloths here, which are useful for so many different things. I probably will also, in some of these pockets, put um, like a couple of pacifiers and um, maybe like diaper rash cream, although Nora really never struggled with diaper rash. So I don't know if he will, but you know, that kind of thing, just to like have all of that with you um, in like a nice organized little, Thing. I think that'll be great. So I got that put together. I'm just leaving it in here for now, but obviously it would take nothing to put it into our room when he comes. We also got this, um, it's like by this brand called Ubi and it's a diaper pail and Riley put a trash bag in it. I really like it because it doesn't require special trash bags. We have the exact same one for Nora and we really like it. Um, so when you, after you've changed their diaper, do you have to unlock it? You um, open it up and it goes in there and then you just can take it out and take the trash out when you need to. And then I um, made a list of don't forget 
items. So labor soup is that soup I talked about last week, phone chargers, the Duna is our infant car seat, which Riley installed the base into his car today. So we just need to make sure we have the actual car seat part. Um, I want to bring my makeup. I brought it last time, definitely did not use it, but again, just in case, I would like to have it with me. I keep my makeup in a makeup bag full time these days, so it's no big thing to throw it in my box. Um, and then this camera I'm holding, I would like to bring. I don't know that I'll use it, but I just want to have it with me. And I've just been continuing to write little things on this list um, <clears throat> so that I don't forget anything because I just feel like it's easy. <laughs> it's easy to forget when you're in the 11th hour. Last time when I gave birth to Nora, the only thing we forgot was that there was a bag that I had put. It was on the list, but it was my labor intensified really, really fast. So we needed to get on the road. And I just think it was not on my mind and it wasn't on Riley's mind, which it was like totally fine. But the only thing that we forgot was this bag that I had put in the refrigerator that had coffee in it for Riley and our birth team. Um, it had like, it was like a, a jar um, container of cold brew and then like a thing of half and half. And if you know my husband, then you know <laughs> every morning, like that is like a staple of his morning is a big cup of cold brew coffee. And we left for the birth center at like 8 a.m. or so, 9 a.m. maybe first thing in the morning and um he hadn't had any coffee and he forgot to bring it and um he literally had the worst headache I mean like I was in natural labor so I don't feel that bad for him to be honest with you but he had like a migraine all day long because he hadn't had any coffee I'm like you should have told somebody like like my mom was there she totally could have run out and gone to Starbucks for him or whatever but he was you know first time dad he's like in it so this time we brought, I bought coffee that doesn't need to be refrigerated and it's in here. And I'm like, we can put it in the fridge when we get to the birth center or not. Um, but that's the only thing that we forgot. And he has brought it up so many times. He's like, do we have coffee this time? Because last time was a little rough without the coffee. I'm like, oh, tell me about how hard it was that you didn't have caffeine when I was pushing an eight pound, nine ounce baby out of my body. Let me know. Hey guys, good morning. Actually, afternoon. It's about 12.15 now on Thursday, September 16th. I am actually sitting out front of my physical therapist's office. So I went and saw her throughout the beginning of my pregnancy, and I am going to see her again here in these final weeks. She is a certified physical therapist, but she also went and got her master's and specializes in women's pelvic floor health which is incredible. So she's an expert on women's pelvic floor, pelvic floor health and she works at my birth center some days of the week and then out of her own clinic other days of the week um, and works with tons of pregnant and postpartum mamas because as you can imagine, a woman's pelvic floor goes through a whole lot during pregnancy and birth and um, she said that what she sees regularly, because she also does more like sports medicine type of physical therapy, that she says um, women across the board who have had a whole bunch of kids, who have had no kids, who have had one or two kids, she said we hold our stress so often in our pelvic floor and it will, it's sort of like not functioning properly a lot of the time and then there are all these issues that women think are normal like incontinence after having children or painful sex after having children or all variety of things and they don't have to be normal because you can go and work with someone like her and I was amazed working with her amazed at the beginning of my pregnancy um, and now that I'm at the end and I'm preparing and my body is definitely preparing to give birth I decided to go and see her a handful more times she said a lot of moms choose to do that just to like do a little tune-up right before you know giving birth so I am I really like her so much um, she has such a nice way about her and I'm just really looking forward to seeing her so she does stuff with pelvic floor and then there's also times when I've seen her and we've just worked on you know more traditional physical therapy stuff but it's been 
I can't tell you what a game changer it's been. I just really, it really is. So I, my appointment with her is in just a few minutes. So I'm going to, um, head in there. All right, I'm home from my appointment. I've been home for several hours now. It's about 6 p.m. And I just made this ravioli bake, which you just layer ravioli with marinara sauce and then top it with a little mozzarella cheese. It's gonna go into the oven once the oven's preheated for 30 minutes. Really easy, really yummy. Really and Nora are playing. And then I've also, I've also been working on a to-do list for everything I wanna get done before Colin arrives. So like making, we have, the base for our infant car seat in Riley's car, but I want to make sure to add the infant insert to it. Some things for Nora. I want to put the postpartum basket in the bedroom. We rented the snoo and that should show up here in the next couple of days. So we got to set that up. We have a couple of things I want to move. Riley wants to get a haircut. I need to mail out all the Etsy orders that are still open, which there are over 500 still open. <laughs> so I still have some serious work to do, but that's what I've been working on. Nora just brought me these footy PJs from her bedroom and wanted me to change her into them, so I did. Then Riley just got home from work, so they're playing. You want to play down? Okay. Nora, say hi. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it is actually about 11 o'clock here on Friday night, and... I just got home from Riley's studio. I was up there working. The good news is, is that I am like 90 plus percent done with sorting the garments. So like the plain blank garments come in and then I sort them based on what design they need. And then tomorrow they will all get sewn and screen printed. So then I can start packaging them up. And so next week will be my packaging week and then I will be done and dusted with sending everything out and if any of you ordered anything it will get to you but um <clears throat> the reason I didn't pick up the camera today was because my poor sweet little Norny she um has her two-year molars coming in and um anybody who knows anything about a teething baby or a teething toddler so she just needed a lot of extra love and cuddles and so we sat on the couch for a long time and then I laid down with her when she went, went to take her nap. So it ended up being a really nice rest day for me as well. But I was just tending to her all day. We did like a really long bath and read books and you know the whole nine yards. So I was just really spending time with her, focused time with her today. Um, and then after she went to bed this evening, I went up and worked for a few hours. So it ended up being actually a really nice low-key Friday, um, but still productive here at the end. So I'm just about to take my evening vitamins and hop into bed. Um, and that's the story, but I thought I would wrap up this weekly vlog. I know it's been kind of a weird one because truly it's been like, I'm just starting to get real close to labor, I think. Um, in my recent video that I put up by this point, it's already live. I know I'm a hot mess. Um, about my maternity leave, I had said, I, in that video I said something like, I really didn't film at all the weeks leading up to having Nora and I wish I had because that's such like an interesting time and I just wish I had filmed more. And then after this week I'm like, okay, yeah, I kind of remember why I didn't film anything. It's just a weird time. It's like the birth bags are packed, the nursery is done, his stuff is organized, like, it's just these last, like this last little home stretch is just a lot of resting and trying to get the last bits of things done. Like those are the two main focuses. And so anyway, we'll see. I think I probably will still pick up the camera next week for a weekly vlog, but that might be the last one. Cause I just don't have a whole bunch to share right now other than sorting orders and doing things for Etsy, which gets really monotonous. To film um, and then outside of that there's not a whole lot of exciting stuff going on around here I'm just trying to spend time with Nora before she is no longer an only child and um, rest as much as possible <laughs> so that you know I don't have these like contractions and Braxton Hicks going on all the time anyway thank you guys so much for watching this week I appreciate it so so much um, Instagram will likely be the first place that I post when Colin makes his big arrival, so that's where to check. Um, that's all I have to say. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.